Hello my beautiful friends, I'm Neetu Banthia and I'm going to share some valuable tips on how to take care of your skin during pregnancy. Pregnancy is the most happiest and thrilling experience in a woman's life and yet it is the most sensitive uh, experience also than any other part of life. Now the more thrilled you are by the news that you are pregnant, probably you might be less thrilled by the thought of fact about the changes in your body. Okay, so the changes can be the way you look, your skin, your hair, your nails, uh, basically your overall figure. But the good news is we have a solution to all and today I am going to talk on skincare. Since today I am going to talk on skincare, accept it or not, during this period our skin might suffer. In most cases it does. Here blame it on hormones and the chemical changes in your body because I don't know what happens during this period of time hormones literally they start dancing. It might cause dry flaky skin or oily skin, blemishes, acnes, pigmentation. It might also cause change of color of the skin or you may be one of the luckiest ones to experience the most beautiful glowy skin. Now, without any delay, I will uh, share the tips to take care of your facial skin. Step by step, first is cleansing, exfoliating, toning, moisturizing. And you have to maintain this routine today, uh, today, tomorrow and every day of your life. Cleansing. This should be done twice a day, one in the morning and second time before, before you could go to bed at night. Uh, before you cleanse your skin, you have to remove your makeup, which is, it is a must must. Okay. And why cleansing is important? Because it removes all your <coughs> sweat, dirt, oil and bacteria. Which is the best cleanser? Best cleansing agent is gentle and it is non-irritating to your skin. Uh, for example, a mild soap, a baby soap. As I said before that you should remove your makeup before cleansing your uh, skin. You can remove it with either soap or face cleanser or face wash, whichever suits you the best. My recommendation here would be use baby oil because it also nourishes and, your, uh, and moisturizes your skin. And then you wash your face. Which are the cleansers that you should be avoiding? Those cleansers which has ingredients like perfume, antibacterial agents, exotic oils, herbs, fruits, vegetables and etc. etc. So these, these agents, these uh, ingredients, they can be, uh, you know, they can be harmful for your skin. They can cause irritation to your skin. Probably all of these, all of the ingredients or any one of the in ingredients. Because at this point of time when you are pregnant, your skin tends to get gentle and sensitive. So I would recommend just don't go for all of this. Because another thing is it is also marketing gimmick and it is advertising product, advertising uh, such a expensive product. So I would say that ignore all of this. I'm sure everyone knows how to use a cleanser. Wet your face, apply a well lathered soap or face, uh, face cleanser, rotating in gentle circular movements you know, over the face and neck, uh, rinse with water and pat dry your skin with a very soft towel and don't rub your skin because it might tend to get uh, raw because anyways it is sensitive. Exfoliating should be done once in 10 to 15 days because it removes the dead skin which can't be uh, removed by the cleanser. And these dead skin is uh, developed over a period of time. What can happen is it can clog our skin pores. Yeah, and because of that our skin may uh, seem to be rough and blotchy. Even blackheads can be developed. So hence we have to exfoliate. Uh, now when should uh, you exfoliate. People with oily skin, they should exfoliate once in a week or max to max 10 days. 
people with dry skin they should uh, do it once in 15 days and people who have got uh, dry and sensitive skin uh, please i would say that don't do it there are a lot of uh, exfoliating products in the market you can opt for any one of it uh, i would recommend try this mixture at home one tablespoon of gram flour which is also called basin uh, with one teaspoon of uh, sorry half a teaspoon of turmeric uh, and milk or milk cream uh, oily skin guys you can use milk whereas for dry skin guys you can use milk cream and one tablespoon of suji which is called rava now the funda behind this is suji or rava it acts as a cleansing cream turmeric acts as antibacterial uh, agent milk or milk cream it moisturizes your skin okay now take this mixture scrub it with your clean hands and it would be sorted exfoliating should be done uh, in the night time after cleansing your skin remember after cleansing your skin so you have to use light or moderate pressure in circular moments horizontal or vertical moments uh, over your face, chin, around the nostrils and neck. This has to be done for 4 to 5 minutes. Dry and sensitive skin guys, please remember you can do it for 2 to 3 minutes. Uh, and if your skin feels very irritated during the scrub, please stop scrubbing and you rinse your face with water. Put a lot of, lot of water and uh, when you pat dry, please do not rub and make your skin sensitive just pat dry with uh, cold water toning toning is after cleansing to remove the extra traces of cleanser and dry up blemishes and also makes skin feel good and cool it also stimulates the blood flow now understand there are two types of toners in the market one is called astringent and another is freshener Astringent, it contains more alcohol content and freshener, it contains less alcohol content. I would suggest uh, go for rose water instead of these products. Uh, you know, it's good for skin also and it's, it's also cooling uh, agent for your skin. If at all, rose water does not really work for you, you can choose any suitable product for your own self. So, what you do is you just use coin size of, coin size of toner on your clean hands and dab all over your face and neck. Exfoliating should be done once in 10 to 15 days because it removes the dead skin which can't be uh, removed by the cleanser. And these dead skin is uh, developed over a period of time what can happen is it can clog our skin pores yeah, and because of that our skin may uh, seem to be rough and blotchy even blackheads can be developed so hence we have to exfoliate uh, now when should uh, you exfoliate people with oily skin they should exfoliate once in a week there are two types of moisturizers lotions and creams Lotions, it's more water and less oil. It's suitable for oily skin. Creams is more oils, less water, which is suitable for normal to dry skin. And for dry, very dry to sensitive skin, uh, there are a lot of products in the market. So uh, for your uh, skin type, you have to try and test uh, which is perfect for your skin type. Or else if my, you might be using earlier uh, moisturizers, uh, if they really work well for you, go ahead with it absolutely fine uh, also another thing guys you have to remember that you might have to change your moisturizers according to the season as far as you are using moisturizers that wonderful and it has to be used after toning so just now uh, a revision of this process it has to be done twice a day okay in the morning and before bedtime the process is cleansing toning and then moisturizing when you are doing exfoliating it has to be done before bedtime and after cleansing your skin during that time uh, that should be done once in a week for oily skin once in 10 days for dry skin and uh, for dry to sensitive skin guys um, uh, you know I would suggest uh, please use the 
make sure that I have, uh, you know, I have given you as a tip because that is a most natural product and I'm sure that, you know, it's not going to harm your skin. Mostly it is not. It won't. Uh, and even if you guys are uh, exfoliating your skin, don't go more than uh, two to three minutes uh, so that otherwise it's going to harm it. Uh, so the exfoliating process goes cleansing, then exfoliating and then use the toner and then go for moisturizer uh, before another thing very important thing is uh, please use the products which is suitable for your skin type don't just you know uh, just try different different products every time use one product and if you think this is the best for you just use it Okay, just use that. Don't don't change your products. And uh, that's all about it. Guys, I am sure, I am 200% sure this routine is going to help you. Uh, you have to see to it that uh, it's not during pregnancy. You you can continue this, uh, uh, this process even after pregnancy. It's a very natural and you, I mean, everyone should do it, I feel. So it's definitely going to, you know, enhance your skin and keep your skin glowy. But uh, I will specify it should be done twice in a day. <clears throat> so please like my video and subscribe my video. <laughs> subscribe my channel. Um, yeah, that's all about it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good day and good evening. Bye.